Hey there, y'all. This is Jamila. I am an encourager and I'm the founder of Loved and Blessed. And I realized it's been a while since I've done a behind the scenes video showing you a little bit about our um, product development process and everything that goes into creating the items that go into our boxes of encouragement. And we had a really fun gift in the box this month. Um, so I wanted to give you a little bit of an insight on how the gifts were developed. And uh, I know that the last time that I um, posted a video like this and showing you how some of our jewelry pieces were developed, a lot of you were really interested in that uh, because maybe you have an idea for a product yourself. So I hope that this encourages you, gives you a little bit of insight about Loved and Blessed, and maybe even inspires you um, to create some products of your own. So if you're not familiar with Loved and Blessed, Loved and Blessed is a monthly membership and care package that helps you choose joy daily. And we do that by providing community, encouragement, and spiritual growth. So when you become a member of Loved and Blessed, you'll receive one of these super cute pink boxes every single month. And this month's theme inside of our community is light. And so all of the ladies received their box. They are able to then download a workbook and we meet inside of our online community every single week to chat about the topic. And I share lots and lots of encouragement. But all of the gifts and items that are inside of our boxes are meant to truly uplift your spirit. And so they're not just random products that we um, pick out. We actually design each product to go along with the theme of the box. And this month's theme is light. And one of the things that we're talking about this month is making sure that you have an ongoing kind of list, almost like an address book of the people who shine light into your life, the encouragers in your life. So the box came with this really cute little, um, I call it encouragers address book, but you could use it also as just a regular notebook. But inside of here, there are little boxes and each of these sections is meant to be a place where you're gonna list the type of encouragement that's provided and where you usually get that encouragement. So for example, for me, I actually use this almost like an address book of encouragers. So there are ladies that I follow online that I've never even met in real life, but they encourage me in my marriage. And so to be able to write here marriage and then writing their Instagram handle, their website, wherever I follow them in here. And so then that way, anytime I need encouragement in a particular area of my life, I grab my book, I can open it up, flip to a particular topic and say, you know what, I'm going to go look at some of their content. I'm going to go see what they're talking about and encourage myself. Loved and Blessed is all about living life encouraged. So it's not just about when you need encouragement in the moment, but it's actually about proactively encouraging yourself so that when you get to those tough seasons, you're already ready and prepared um, for that spiritual warfare that happens. So this is uh, our encouragers notebook. And of course, along with this little um, book that we included, I wanted to do a really fun pin. And so a few months ago, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will remember that a few months ago, I had posted a video and some photos of these. And I had asked, what color do you guys like? Because I wanted to get input from our community on which color they preferred. And of course, resoundingly, everybody picked this pink color. I didn't explain what these were. And so here's a little behind the scenes um, of how our products are developed. So the gift that went or that goes with our encouragers address book is actually a super cute pin. And I'm going to show you why this is a special pin um, in just a moment. But you can see on there, let's see if I can get it to show up. You can see the pin says shine bright and it has our logo on it. Now, this is not just an ordinary pin. This pin is actually really cute. So if you click there, the pin actually comes out, right? So it's a typical ballpoint pen. And of course, it's got a nice grip on it for writing because I do a lot of writing, so that's very important to me. But you probably noticed this funky little um, cap on the pin. So this cap we actually added just for protection in shipping. This isn't, um, you don't necessarily need to keep this cap on the pin. But when the cap is actually removed, 
There we go. When the cap is actually removed, and that can actually be either thrown away or you could keep it if you want to. Um, the other end of the pen is a stylus, so you can use this on your electronic devices. It's a super soft stylus. But the secret is if you click the stylus, the pen actually lights up. And so it's not only a fun pen, but it's also a functional reminder to shine bright. One of the things that we'll be talking about inside of the Loved and Blessed community this month on the topic of light is also about letting our light shine before the world, right? That's what scripture tells us is to let our light shine, to not hide it. Um, and to shine bright for God's glory. So we'll be talking about that inside of our group, but I thought that this was a super cute little gift to include um, in the box this month. And you can turn the pin on and off whenever you want, so you don't have to have it on when you're writing. But um, I actually like to write with this pin. And anytime that I start to feel like the enemy is trying to convince me to hold my peace, Maybe the spirits put something on my heart to write in a blog post that I'm nervous about writing or sharing. Um, and sometimes the enemy does that to me. I don't know about you if you're a writer, but sometimes the enemy does that to me and tries to convince me that what I'm writing doesn't matter, that no one will care, that no one wants to read it, um, that because my grammar is not always perfect, you know, that uh, I should just give up. And so having this pen, using it, and then anytime I start to feel that fight, that spiritual warfare, it might sound corny, but I literally can click this little button and it just reminds me to shine bright. And I just keep writing and it's kind of my reminder to just keep going no matter how I'm feeling. And so every single item that's in our box has a really intentional purpose behind it. It's not just about a cute pen. Um, it purposefully lights up to remind you and encourage you to shine bright. And so maybe you're not a writer, maybe you're a teacher and you've got to um, grade papers and you're just not feeling it. <laughs> this is a good uh, encouragement, again, just to pop that little button, turn it on and remind yourself to keep going and shine bright. Doctors and nurses, you know, we have some of these pins that I'm going to try to get um, sent out. Uh, to some local hospitals just for them to be able to use because again it's just that encouragement of being able to remember to shine bright no matter what you're facing so love and bless is all about encouragement but a little bit of a behind the scenes so the barrel of the pin that's what this is and so when i had posted and asked what color do you guys like you can see that this is actually the barrel of the pin so you can see that this is all molded as one piece. If you know uh, manufacturing and have heard terms like injection molding and all that kind of stuff, or if you watch Shark Tank, you probably know about molds. Um, but these are pin molds. And so then they've just been colored. You can see kind of the inside is like a gray metal, like an aluminum. Um, and then the outside has actually been colored with a metallic or sprayed with a metallic paint. And so after I showed all these colors, I actually really liked this blue color. Um, but the ladies voted <laughs> and picked pink, which I love pink too, obviously. Um, but I just thought it was funny. I was trying to see if y'all would pick something else and you still picked pink. So we ended up going with the pink barrel and then you can see that each of the elements can be customized so we decided to just go with the traditional black um for the actual um uh what do you call it where you put your fingers where you put your hand right so this part the grip um and then the button everything's black then you've got silver details for all of the additional metal pieces that are then attached to the pen but all of these different things can be customized now of course all of this depends on the quantity you're ordering the simplest thing to do is to go with the simple you know black um colors or to go with silvers because that's what's kind of in stock um, and available but you could also do a different type of clip if you wanted a different type of clip on the pen um so from picking colors to final pin and then like I said all those little details like this little cap that just protected this in shipping you can still put it back on if you really wanted to um but it's really again like I said meant more so just to actually protect the pin when we were shipping it to the ladies so that it, the pin wouldn't accidentally turn on while it was in the box um and being shipped but and then we of course shipped it in a little protective sleeve 
So this is the Shine Bright pin that goes with our Encouragers address book inside of our light box of encouragement this month. But again, I just wanted to share this with you guys because I know some of you were really interested in some of the products that actually go into our boxes and how they are made. So if you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask. Um, as a small business owner, I am always happy to answer questions and uh, you know, maybe inspire you guys to do something um, yourselves. And if you are interested in becoming a member of Loved and Blessed and getting one of these boxes of encouragement delivered to you each and every month, then I want to encourage you to check out our website at lovedandblessed.com. And you can learn all about these boxes, our membership, and everything that Loved and Blessed does to help you learn how to choose joy daily, no matter what you're facing. All right, y'all, I will chat with you again soon.